Hello. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, work with the Reddit API, and we'll go over uh, getting the connection for everything. In the future, uh, I'll be showing you some basic analytics on Reddit. So you can use just like any NLP, um, you know, text analysis. Let's say you want to do sentiment of stock tickers and Wall Street bets or something like that. Um, you know, are people happy or excited about the stock? That's just one example project you could do. But really, this uh, repository is meant to or this folder, I mean, is meant to get you set up so that you can, um, you know, work on your own projects and be sort of as quick as possible to show you how to, you know, get going with that so you can work on your own projects. So anyways, let's, let's begin. Um, so if this is your first project um, you've done with me, um, follow the install steps in the uh, tutorials repository here. I'll link in the description of this video. Basically, we'll create an environment to run all the Python code um, with the right version of Python for the code I've written here. And we're going to use Jupyter to sort of play around with things. Okay, so um, this is the Jupyter Notebook from that repository. It's uh, called Setup. And I'm going to show you how to create the API credentials. And then from there, um, we'll test that we're able to actually, you know, extract data using the Reddit API. Okay, so um, first off, we're going to use uh, this thing called Pro. And this is sort of this, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, you know, Python library that sort of handles all the API connection stuff for you. You could do it more low level with HTTP um, and like curl requests and all that, but this is just a nicer way if you're using Python to, uh, you know, work with an API. And if this is your first API you've ever used, uh, welcome. Uh, most will be very similar to this and sort of how you get working with things. So yeah, so uh, we're going to connect with the password flow. It's kind of just like um, logging into your Reddit account um, with some extra little details to tell it, hey, I'm an API service user. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, uh, I'll go through that. In here, um, you know, reading the docs, you can see we need to get information here for client ID, client secret, and the rest will be our Reddit username and password. Um, and you can create those for free uh, with Reddit. So I am, you know, I just click the link in here, uh, develop application. And in here, um, you know, here's my, uh, my cool projects I have. Um, and I'm going to create a, another application. Um, and you can sort of call this whatever you want. Uh, you should sort of try to follow their API usage guidelines, but in general, um, you know, a script for personal use is probably what you'll be doing. And, um, We'll just call it something, uh, video my tutorial. And um, description, something descriptive. Doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know if you even need an about or a redirect. Let's see here. OK, they want a URL. Um, you could put like your personal LinkedIn, your, your own GitHub, um, you know, whatever you want. It's kind of trying to be respectful of um, the people who let you use the app, Reddit. Um, as much as you can or want to be. So try to be truthful if you want. Uh, you don't have to be anyways. But yeah, so I just created this uh, application. And when I'm using that, I need to use this client ID and this secret. Um, switching back a little bit. So we have set up here. We filled in this information. I've highlighted you know, what we're going to grab. And then we're going to put everything in a file on our machine. Um, just like this. So client ID, client secret, um, and a few other things. Okay, so um, I use PyCharm for a lot of things. Um, and in the repository, I've created this template file. We're just going to copy that, um, rename it to secretservices.py. These are all things you shouldn't really commit to a Git repo uh, because they're meant to be private. Um, and one sec here, I am just going to Pull up Git or Reddit. I see this is my client ID. Copy that in here. And then I'll copy the secret. Okay. And then Reddit password. Um, I'm not going to you know, show you this part. But, um, you just fill in your own Reddit username. Uh, mine is person ergo. And uh, user agent, you could feel like fitting it in. You could just say your app name, video, live, tutorial, or something. That, that's fine. It doesn't really matter what you put in there for the most part. Again, if you want to be 
respectfully, you could put more information. But it's up to you. And yeah, so I'm just gonna you know, go to my other screen. I'm gonna put in my actual information and uh, show you that it is working. Just a sec here. Uh, okay, so I've got that set up and um, we're gonna see if this all works. So I'm restarting the PyCharm kernel because um, we're loading this information, this sort of Reddit client from a file, just so it's easier than sort of uh, doing it each time by loading the different variables. Like I could have stored just the client ID and client secret. I just decided to bundle it all into one. Um, so sometimes it's easier just to reload the whole uh, Jupyter notebook if you ever change a Python file. All right, let's see if it worked. All right, cool. So um, this is sort of like the hello world of the Pry API, that sort of Reddit API we're using. And um, you can see it uh, was able to find everything. Now, I did just say you could restart everything if you had an issue, um, but you can also use this reload script to kind of do things, um, like reloading your credentials file in case there was an issue doing that, reddit.user.me. All right, so we know we can connect. Really, really straightforward. If you don't even have a Reddit account, um, two seconds you can make one. I don't even think you need an email to do so. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, let's just go through um, a subreddit. And these are, you know, I, I went on the docs and I found these common tasks, you know, just like how do I get started doing Reddit stuff? So here's, you know, how I connected to it. And then here's just a cool way to, uh, you know, uh, print out all the posts in a Reddit post. There we go. So we got all the titles um, from a Reddit post. There's other information available on submission. Um, we'll sort of play around with that um, as we go through the notebook. Um, there's different things too. Um, so we just queried on hot with limit 10. So just like if you're on Reddit yourself, um, Reddit uh, R learn Python. Loading here. So we had it sorted by hot and we did limit 10. So it should be, you know, the first 10 things here roughly. And uh, there we go, ask anything Monday. You had 11 lines of Python, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and you can increase this limit to about a thousand. Uh, and uh, yeah, so a few more just exploring commands. Um, if you want to keep jumping ahead, just skip to the next video. Uh, but I'm just going to show you like there's an over 18 filter on subreddit. Um, you can see how many subscribers there are on a subreddit. And then what I like to do when I'm exploring a new sort of Python file is type this reserve keyword dict. It sort of shows you everything that's like a key value on subreddit. So we don't have to guess like is over 18 a, a field? How do they spell it? Is it over underscore 18 or not? You know, just, just do dict and then you can see, you know, all these variables that um, presumably you could query um, uh, using the uh, the pra and the documentation. There's also this help command um, that shows you the doc string. So that will give you, you know, like every single method if you want to use the methods and not sort of touch reserve keywords. Um, like in general, you should always use like subreddit dot, not subreddit dot dict get, get a thing because that's a little, um, you know, there's no guarantee that's always going to work just right depending on how they implement things. Here's another time filter. So instead of doing a hot by or top by hot, I did top by year this time. Like I said, there's a limit. Oh, that's going to be too high. Um, of about a thousand is the most you can do using the Reddit API. You know, if you really want to get back in time uh, and do other things, there's this tool called Push Shift, Push Shift. Um, and that sort of has a copy of Reddit since I believe 2016, 2017. Um, and you can use that. But for these tutorials, we're just going to use the API. You can do quite a lot of stuff with that. Um, and it's good for analyzing sort of the current state of Reddit. Um, going back here, top by 10, let's just look at the top. Um, so here we go. As a gift to the community, I'm making my Python book free for 72 hours. Uh, who would you guess that is? It is Automate the Boring Stuff, uh, if we were to look at that actual post. Submission.url, I believe, does it. Yep. And here we go. We can see the top post and the programmatic view. Um, and uh, I believe this is... Oh, my bad. It's not Automate the Boring Stuff. This is a whole other person, and uh, everyone really, really liked what they did, so that's kind of cool. Oh, we see automate the boring stuff on here. But uh, yeah, a few other commands. You know, you can work through this on your own time too. Um, 
we can sort of see like, you know, upvotes as a percentage of subscribers. Notice, um, let's see here, I've got score over subscribers. Um, one limitation of the API is you don't know subscribers at the time the post was made. So you kind of need to estimate, you know, the subreddit growth and all that over time. If you really want to see sort of like engagement or what the true top posts were, because, um, you know, if there's only 10 subscribers, 10 upvotes is huge. If there's a million subscribers and 10 upvotes, maybe, you know, not so exciting. Um, and there could be some different techniques. If you're interested in that, leave a comment. I could let you know my thoughts on how I would approach that problem. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, let's see what else here. So if you want to see the upvote ratio, um, you do have some information on um, upvotes and overall score, but it's sort of approximate. I don't believe downvotes are actually provided either. So um, in the past, Reddit will let you see that, but I don't think they do that anymore. Quite a lot of automate the boring stuff. Um, very practical tutorials, pretty cool. Um, and yeah, this is uh, Pandas too. I don't believe I told you what I was doing here if you haven't seen it before, but it's a way to do a table of, um, of results and then sort of play with them with uh, commands that sort of apply to every row in the table, kind of like SQL, but sort of like the Python, for Python version. And um, yeah, then you can export this to Excel for analysis or save it. And um, it can be uh, you know, a great way to do an analysis. The library is called Pandas, and I'll go through that in other tutorials. But yeah, thanks for watching. Again, goal of this video was just to show you how to use the Reddit API, you know, make the initial connection. In the next video, I'll show you how to you know, look at a Reddit, uh, a subreddit, and we'll analyze uh, the top links um, that are referred to by the users of that subreddit. So a good way to see, you know, what are the major sites that are important to people who are interested in financial independence or what are the funniest sites in the world? You know, it'd probably be Imgur, a lot of things, but what are the ones that aren't Imgur that are considered funny? So um, we'll sort of talk about how you could work through a subreddit and analyze all the different posts um, for, you know, any text purpose you want. But yeah, thanks for watching.